Hi, I'm Tara Pierce with Pink Power Cleaning, where we make the homeowner the hero by helping them have a clean home. And today we're going to talk about showers and bathtubs. First we open in the shower curtain. I do like to pull it out so it's out of my way. I'm going to use the shower head here because these are very, very handy. We'll get the whole bathtub wet. I like to use a sponge and soft scrub. So I'm going to get my sponge wet here. And we start at the top and we work our way down. Get under these shelves because they do collect. Here we have soap. I'm just actually going to move this for now out of my way. And typically, wherever somebody has their soap sitting, there is usually extra soap scum right below that because their soap sits there and drains soap residue down. So you do want to pay extra close attention to that area. There, I'm getting this lip under here as well because it will collect mildew, as you see. I'm gonna get my sponge set a little bit. Now because this is tile, my sponge gets the face of the tiles, but it does not get in the grooves. So I am going to get my um, scrub brush, just to make sure those are done. Go over, unless there is um, mildew buildup, then it does take a little bit longer. So this is usually a quick go over in this case. If there were mildew growing in between the tiles, then it would take uh, more precision and longer to do that. So now I'm going to rinse the sides off. At this point, I can double check my walls and see if there's anything I missed. Um, such as here, there's this, and I'm not sure if these are permanent marks or um, marks that come off. So I'm going to find out. Oh, they do, they come off. Toothbrush. There we go. So I'm going to wipe the top and the shower head real quick just to get all the dust off. magic eraser here. There was a little rust stain and now it's gone. <laughs> There's another one here. Where you are going to find the most buildup and these bathtubs is right here where there's a curve and right here where there's a curve. It likes to, um, the soap scum and dirt likes to build up there a lot. So you always want to feel those when you're done. The bottom is textured, so I'm going to use a scrub brush because a sponge will not get down in the grooves. Um, so a sponge is good on the sides, scrub brush on the bottom if it's textured. Next, I'm going to use my toothbrush because there's grime down inside this drain and the scrub brush can't reach, sponge can't reach, so the toothbrush will get it. Lastly, I'm going to put my soap back and grab my cloth. I'm going to shine these up. Nobody wants water spots left on their 
deposits. I'm going to feel the sides of the tub and make sure that there's no soap scum left. It feels good. And then I'm visually checking for any hair, any debris. We don't want to leave any of that in. Um, so I don't see any hair, but I do see some debris. And then we wipe off the ledge. I'm Tara with Pink Power Cleaning, where we make the home out of the hero by helping them have a clean home. Thank you for watching.